Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is my Finishing the Bible in One Year project, and we are on day 256. We are in the book of First Chronicles, and we'll be reading chapter 6. Just chapter 6 today. It's one long chapter, so um, only one chapter. And it's about the genealogy of the priestly line. So, so far in Chronicles, it's been a lot of genealogy, and it looks like it's going to continue to be genealogy, at least until we get to, I believe, Second Chronicles, maybe? I think that's what it is. Second Chronicles, it's more stories. And I think first is genealogy, at least a lot of it is. I guess we'll find out. So, First Chronicles 6, verse 1, let's go ahead and start. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari, the sons of Kohath, Amram, Ishar, and Hebron, and Uziel, and the children of Amran, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, the sons of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Eleazar begat Phineas, Phineas begat Abiyashua, Abiyashua begat Buki, and Buki begat Uzi. Uzi begat Zariah, and Zariah begat Merioth. Merioth begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitub. And Ahitu begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Ahimaz. And Ahimaz begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Jonahan. And Jonahan begat Azariah. He it is that executed the priest's office in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. And Azariah begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitub, and Ahitub begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Hilkiah, and Hilkiah begat Azariah. And Azariah begat Sarai, and Sarai begat Jehozadak. And Jehozadak went into captivity when the Lord, or Jehovah, carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari, and these be the names of the sons of Gershom, Libni, and Shemai. And the sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, Uzil. The sons of Merari, Malhi, and Mushi, and these are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Gershom, Libni his son, Jahath his son, Zema his son, Joah his son, Ido his son, Zerah his son, Jetari his son. The sons of Kohath, Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Asir his son, Elkanah his son, and Ebiasaf his son, Asir his son, Tahath his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shal his son. And the sons of Elkanah, Amasai, and Ahimoth. As for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah, Zophai his son, and Nathath his son. Eliab his son, Jeroham his son, Elkanah his son, and the sons of Samuel, the firstborn Vashidni, and Abiah. The sons of Merari, Malni, Libni, his son, Shemai, his son, Uzzah, his son, Shemai, his son, Haggai, his son, Asiah, his son. And these are they whom David set over the service of the song in the house of Jehovah. After that, the ark had rest. And they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing until Solomon had built the house of Jehovah in Jerusalem. And then they waited on their office according to their order. And these are they that waited with their children of the sons of the Kohathites, Hemam, a singer, the son of Joel, the son of Shemuel, the son of Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Elil, the son of Toha, the son of Zup, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahath, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahath, the son of Asir, the son of Abisaph, the son of Korah. The son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and his brother Asaph, who stood on his right hand, even Asaph, the son of Barakiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Michael, the son of Basiah, the son of Malchiah, the son of Ethni, the son of Zerah, the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zema, the son of Shemai, the son of Jahath, the son of Gershon, the son of Levi, and their brethren, the sons of Merari, stood on the left hand, Ethan, the sons of Kishi, and the son of Abdi, the son of Maluk, the son of Hashbiah, 
the son of Amaziah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Amzi, the son of Bani, the son of Shamer, the son of Mali, the son of Mushi, the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their brethren also the Levites were appointed unto all manner service of the tabernacle of the house of God, or Elohim. But Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of incense, and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy, and make an atonement for Israel, according to all that Moses, the servant of Elohim, had commanded. And these are the sons of Aaron, Eleazar his son, Phinehas his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zariah his son, Marioth his son, Amari his son, Ahitub his son, Zadok his son, Amihaz his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their castles in their coasts, of the sons of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah, and the suburbs thereof round about. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof they gave to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. The sons of Aaron they gave cities of Judah, namely Hebron, the city of refuge, and Libna, with her suburbs, and Jatir in Eshtimoa, with their suburbs, and Hiland with her suburbs, Debir with her suburbs, and Ashan with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with her suburbs, and Elameth with her suburbs, and Anathoth with her suburbs, and their cities throughout their families were thirteen cities. And unto the sons of Kohath, which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of half the tribe, namely out of the half tribe of Manasseh, by lot ten cities. And to the sons of Gershom, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the tribe of Manasseh, in Bashan, thirteen cities. Unto the sons of Merari were given by lot throughout their families, out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs. And they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities which are called by their names. And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath had cities of their coasts out to the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave unto them the cities of refuge Shechem in Mount Ephraim with her suburbs, and they gave also Gezer with her suburbs, and with Jokmim with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, and Aijalon with her suburbs, and Gathrimom with her suburbs, and out of the half of the tribe of Manasseh, Anur with her suburbs, Belim with her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohath. Unto the sons of Gershom were given out to the family of half the tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, and Ashtaroth with her suburbs, and out to the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh with her suburbs, Dabarath with her suburbs, and Ramoth with her suburbs, and Anem with her suburbs, and out to the tribe of Asher, Mashal with her suburbs, and Abdon with her suburbs, and Hukok with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs. And of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee, with her suburbs, and Hamon with her suburbs, and Kerth Jarim with her suburbs, unto the rest of the children of Merari were given out to the tribe of Zebulon, Rimam with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs, and on the other side of Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of Jordan were given them of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, Jehazah with her suburbs, Kedemoth also with her suburbs, and Mephath with her suburbs, and out to the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Galid with her suburbs, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, and Heshbon with her suburbs, and Jazer with her suburbs. Wow. You know, it'd be so cool to see like a map of all of the different tribes, like after everything was said and done, all the, the tribes' um, places, at least, you know, obviously we know that everybody gets scattered, unfortunately, because of sin. And uh, lots of them either get killed or taken away um, to Babylon as captives. So, I mean, all this land really doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, it does, but it, um, when the Babylonians take everybody, it's like all for naught. I mean, I'm not sure if, according to history or biblical history, if when they did come back from Babylon, if they all reclaimed their lands or if, uh, if they had to re- uh, divide up the lands again. I'm not sure. I'll look into that, but it'd be so interesting to see if uh, if they did eventually fall back into place of their old habitations. That'd be so cool. So anyway, this uh, didn't take as long as I thought it would. Just one chapter today. 
Um, I'm not going to read another because I want to stick with this Bible reading plan, which is the biblical storyline, hence why we're reading Chronicles last. Um, I explained this in a, another video, but I'll say it again here. Uh, Chronicles, according to uh, the Israelites, is the last in the um, Old Testament before the New Testament because it's basically like a summary um, of everything, or at least of the important stuff. Well, I mean, everything is important, but you know what I mean. It's a summary. Um, so, And I like that we're reading Chronicles because it gives us a reminder of what we read in uh, the Old Testament. So, it's very interesting stuff. I'm, I just want to read more. <laughs> Alright, here's the Daily Promise. Psalm 139, 10. Even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Here's a reflection, and I quote, Never are God's children so far removed upon the earth that they might fall outside the protective grasp of their Lord. He is to everlasting, filling all the heavens with his majesty. Fear no bitter darkness, nor lasting night. Forever shall the Lord of heaven redeem you who believe unto the everlasting morning and bathe in the light imperishable. End quote. Yeah, basically, um, this verse right here is just a very good reminder that God's always with us. He'll never forsake us. He'll never leave us. He's always with us. He'll hold our hand. He'll lead us. And um, he is our strong tower. He is our buckler. And these are just verses that we can fall on when we are going through anything in life, good or bad. It's a reminder that he is with us. He is always with us. He knows what's best for us. And we can depend on him. So, let's pray. Dear Jehovah, our Elohim, our Abba, thank you so much for this day. And thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you that we're able to read your word. I pray you give us discernment so we can rightly divide your word of truth and keep everything that we read in our hearts and our minds and bring to remembrance. I pray you can help us be an example to others and bring others to you for your sake and for your glory. Please show us your will in our lives and show us what you would do in our lives. Help us walk your path. Help us see and hear your voice. Be your will. Thank you again for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. And I pray... Jesus Christ's holy name, Yeshua. Amen. Amen and amen. So guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you all have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in God and trust in Him. And remember, He is always with you. He's always with us. We'll see you next time with more Chronicles. See you later. Bye-bye.